dog. And then one year later, she realises she wants it, but she's forgotten where she buried it. <laughs> Your mum's a dozy bitch. Huh? No disrespect. <clears throat> I will kill you, boss. <clears throat> oh, man. Here comes that nut job. Kisha is not a nut job. They want to kill me. Oh. Two giant baboons. He's just differently sane. <clears throat> I know who you are. Do you? Yes, I do. I know what school you go to. Bromwell High. Well done, Captain Clever. He's written on the front of the bus. Well, I know your name. Yeah? You're Keisha. And? And how do you think I know that? You're my woodwork teacher. Yes. Have you done your homework? No. No. OK. I'll stop, I think. OK, everybody, this week is Tolerance Week. Oh, oh Miss Dixon, tolerance is for gays. Yes, OK. Now, we can often be intolerant of different people, can't we? But what does different really mean? Is it bad to be different? Oh, Keisha! Yes, it is bad. Yes. Well, let's see. Why don't we look at what makes people different? What about, uh... Yeah, right at the back, Kylie Rice Davis. Stand up, Kylie. Who can tell me something different about Kylie? Anything? Yes, Nutella? She has ginger hair. Oh, yes, that's very good, Nutella. She's a redhead. Some people will call that different. Uh, Kisha! She stinks. Yes, she stinks. Stinking is different. Most people will bathe. Uh, oh, yes, Latrina. Her face looks like she's been hit by a spade. Spade face? <laughs> That's different. And Ricky Grimshaw done a shit in her pocket. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I think that's probably oh, enough now. Oh, All right, just one more. Oh, I know, I know, I know. No one else is crying, but she's crying. Very, very good, Latrina. OK, Kylie, you can sit down now. So, this week's project is tolerance. I want you all to do a presentation in assembly on Friday. And the best one wins a prize? No, no prize. I'm going to win that prize, Miss Dixon. Why do you always think you're going to win? Because I always do. Oh, yeah. Really? There's no prize? I don't believe in prizes. What? You don't believe prizes exist? Well, I believe they exist, but... Uh... Well, then I'm going to win that prize, Miss Dixon. I don't think so. Oh, don't you, Nutella? And why won't I win? Because I always do. Oh, yeah. Uh, who's loaded? <laughs> uh, ik maar love money. <laughs> money make the world go round, isn't it, Mr. Bib? <laughs> Of course, Mr. Candle, as a geography teacher, I know that's not strictly true. Let's play! <laughs> oh. Wow. Hey, Master, what have you done with our playground? Nothing is over there. <laughs> it's smaller. You're mistaken, child. It's the same size it always was. You need to work on your spatial awareness. And these flats never used to be here. You are mistaken, child. They have always been there. You need to work on your, um, flat remembering skills. Mm. <laughs> Let's play! <laughs> <laughs> My presentation will be entitled Into the Melting Pot, a Carnival of Nations. I call it Into the Shit Pot, a Carnival of Shit. Well, that's clever. You walk straight into it. It will be a celebration of the diversity of Bromwell High. I've counted 117 different nationalities in the school. Oh, and Canuck makes 118. You've <laughs> 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 sold the school playground. I'll fill this one. Don't think of it as selling the school playground. Think of it as selling the future of our children up the river. And what did you get for it? Uh... I'll fill this one. A suitcase literally stuffed with money. Tell us at least you'll be spending this money on books. Uh, I'll fill this one. If by books you mean windsurfing lessons, then yes. This is the school playground. Nutella is so smug. Hmm. We can't let her win everything. I've got to do a better presentation than her. That's going to be tough. I heard she's doing into the shit pot. I need to find someone everyone is intolerant to and be nice to them. Keisha, some big girls has glued me to the toilet. Bite me, Kylie. <laughs> Look, the flats fell.
Hold down. Not mad that time. Ah, an unfortunate twist to our plan. I predict massive loss of life. We had to explode them, Mr. Bib. You and your explosions, you're incorrigible. They didn't have no planning permission. And of course, Headmaster, they were made out of pretend bricks. Iqbal ain't no brick expert, that's a fact, bloody open university. <laughs> so, what about the people living in them? Some is dead in the rubble, some is at work. And of course, those who work from home will be both. Aha! Uh -huh. At least we still got our big suitcase full of cash. Some good has come out of tragedy. Hmm. I have some experience of corporate manslaughter, Headmaster, and I suspect we'll have to give that money to the relatives of the dead. <laughs> and probably a good deal more due to what lawyers might call your massive and absolute incompetence. Screw this country that knocks success. <laughs> Well, I hope you're all happy. Iqbal has no money. The families of the victims have stolen it. So, now I need to raise £100,000 for legal fee. And to compensate a bunch of bereaved spongers who seem to want something for nothing. And maybe for a Peugeot 206 with ABS as standard. Uh, we're just going to have to cut overheads. From now on, no coffee. You will all drink your own urine, like me. In fact, you will all drink my urine. <laughs> and no biscuit. We will eat only horses. <gasps> and no more books. These kids can't read anyhow. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's better. It's your own fault. I'm actually not sure it was, Headmaster. You are right, Mongo. In some ways, it was my fault. My name's Mr. Jackson, not Mongo. I've decided to call you Mongo. Look on the bright side, Mongo. At least we got the playground back. I sense the Lord's hand in all this. What about the 60 people who died in the rubble? The Lord would have been less involved in that side of things. Our children can run free once more. Praise be to the Lord. And mercy on the souls of those who perished. For which the Lord can accept no responsibility. Uh, ditto the Holocaust. No, no, sorry. Iqbal is afraid we still not got a playground. I employed gypsies to blow up the flats, and now they is living on the playground. What? I can't... This is... Oh, oh, no, no. Look, I don't care if it is Tolerance Week. When I hear the word gypsies, I just see rough, wild, dangerous men with no respect for the rules, covered in sweat, all muscly, with stubbly chins and tattoos and man smells. I forgot. I'm on playground duty. I'm on playground duty, you dizzy bitch! <laughs> Get out of me, guys! You! Get out! <laughs> the melting pot. All the colours of the rainbow. We set indigo and violet. And green and blue. And yellow, red or orange. None of the colours of the rainbow. I heard she's doing it for the ship pot. Can I be in the presentation? Well, where are you from, Kylie? England. But where is your mum from? England. Your mum is from England? She's from the olden days. Hmm. Do you know who your father is? Yes. And where is he from? England. You're yeah, right. You're from England. Your mum is from England. And your dad, who you actually know, is from England. Yeah. I'm English. So I was wrong. There are 119 nationalities. I'm so gonna win that prize. Except I don't think there is a prize. Could you let me down? <laughs> All is in Gypsies! Man, I love gypsies. Clothes, pegs, horses, they got it all. Your prejudice astonishes me. Thank you very much, Nutella. Pigs and horses indeed. Your stereotypical attitude engenders intolerance towards a proud people. Yeah, pegs and horses, you said it, Nutella. Gypsies belong to a race like you belong to a race and I belong to a race. And we don't stereotype each other, do we? <laughs> Shouldn't you be working down a newsagent? Shouldn't you be dealing crack in the hood with your gangster yardy motherfuckers? No, I mean it's Wednesday lunchtime. Shouldn't you be working down a newsagent? <gasps> My dad will kill me. So lots of people don't like gypsies. Yeah, people is intolerant. It is saddening. Hold on, Keisha. People is intolerant to gypsies. Yep, yeah, even other gypsies. And aren't you trying to find some people that other people is intolerant to for your presentation? You know it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Let's draw a cock on the climbing frame. Keisha! Oi! You will be at a fair, conning members of the public. 
So will you. And I see pegs. Hey, girls. <laughs> Ooh. Try and understand, Keisha. Everyone is intolerant to gypsies. He's talking in riddles, man. And anyway, I'm tolerant like a motherfucker. Hey, watch out! One of them thieving Japos is coming. Hello, ladies. My name's Terry. They call me the king of the gypsies. Hello. My name is Latrina. They call me the bike of the south. We have to do an assembly about tolerance, King Terry. So we want to be tolerant to gypsies. I see. We want to show people what you're really like. Ah, to challenge the traditional images of the gypsy nation. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. I've got it. Just the team to confirm the stereotypes. Let's organize an illegal bare knuckle fight. Hmm. Wouldn't It'll that... be the last thing anyone would expect from us. Man, gypsies love fighting. Just like me. <laughs> well, lots of gypsies don't like fighting. Let's get that straight. Mm. That said, I'm looking for a venue for my next fight. You see, I pull a big crowd, so I need somewhere secluded with a big car park and hygienic bathroom facilities. Well, we'll have to clean the bathrooms, but I think we got a deal. Who are you fighting? Owen McGee, the king of the gypsies. I thought you were king of the gypsies. I'm WBA king of the gypsies. He's WBC king of the gypsies. is such an amazing place. The majesty and wonder of nature. The glories of mankind. I hate intolerant people. They're all such idiots. Sometimes I wish they were all dead and the only people alive were me and Justin Timberlake. Then we'd have a tolerant world. I'm so gonna win that prize. There is no prize, Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> a secret prize! Mm. I'd better get back to work. Okay, the savings. <sighs> oh, sorry I'm late. I've been marking. Mm. Okay, the savings. <laughs> sorry I'm late, I I've been uh, marking. Okay, the savings. Mm. The savings so far. On coffee, three pounds eighty. On book, two pounds twenty-seven. And on biscuit, two hundred seventy-eight pounds fifty-three. This ain't not enough. We is going to have to think of more things to cut. For a start, oh boo! Boo in Iranian means hooray. So I will take that as a compliment. Oh, you're an idiot. Oh, idiot in Iranian means horse cock. Oh. You are dissatisfied with Iqbal! Uh -huh. <laughs> I try my best for you, Zlot, and this is the thanks I get! <laughs> you normally do your marking at home. Well, why do you smell of scrap metal? <laughs> I had master, you appear to be in tears. Yeah, I, I is. I would go so far as to say that you're weeping like a gimp. I know, I'm sad. If you did this in <laughs> Cyprus or wherever the hell you're from, they'd cut your nuts off. The teachers don't like me. I took their biscuits. <laughs> they didn't like me when I took their credit cards. You didn't see me blubbing. And I need a hundred thousand squids to pay the legal bills and the grasping families who lost the loved ones. <clears throat> we might be able to help. Latrina and the other girl don't toy with Iqbal. We used to have to do an assembly about intolerance here. So we went to see them gypsies. And they suggested an illegal bare knuckle fight. Of course. Those gypsies. Although, of course, they are unrepresentative of gypsies as a whole. It's for Miss Dixon for Friday. Right, yeah, I've got to keep an eye on that national curriculum. Who's fighting? The king of the gypsies? Yeah, both of them. And what's our cut? 5% of ticket receipts, 10% levy on all betting. Oh, Miss Dixon is teaching you good. I will give her a biscuit. So, today's the day. Yep, D-Day. Yep, Thursday. Friday. Yep, Wednesday. No, it's Friday, Keisha. Or is it D-Day? Yes, but that's... You think you know so much about the days of the week? Look, if you don't mind, I've got a presentation to prepare. And I said to her, this is not a marriage, it is a sentence. She turned and she left 
and I knew this time she was not never coming back. All that remained was the smell of her perfume and the ache in my heart. Also, there is no woodwork club in uh, Hut Edge this evening, as Mr. Thompson was murdered by baboons this morning. I hand you over now to Nutella from Miss Dixon's class, who is going to teach us why we should all be tolerant. Let's hope it's quick. <clears throat> 119 nations, each with its own voice, own language, own hopes, and own dreams. It is time to begin our celebration of diversity, our celebration of tolerance, and our celebration of me doing the best presentation. <laughs> Behold, the greatest glory of them all! 119 nationalities living together, working together, sharing their culture, their unique wisdoms. Children of Bromwell High, I give you into the shit, into the melting pot! My name is Bezret. My parents are from Kerala in India. My favorite music is Tupac. My favorite food is KFC. I like text messaging. My name is Shazma from Afghanistan. I like Tupac. My favorite food is KFC. I like text messaging. I am Hakan from Kosovo. I am liking Tupac and text messaging. For food, I like KFC. This ain't diverse. They's all the same. <laughs> Listen to those bulls. They love it. Global capitalism one. Nutella nil. Bad luck. <laughs> that was shit. S H T F. Shit. Yeah. Well, what do you know? You wait till you see my celebration of gypsy culture this evening. My respect for tolerance will piss all over yours. It's not a celebration. It's a fight. It celebrates hatred. Get the message, Nutella. Stop being gay. Start being tolerant. Bad luck, Nutella. It was a bit shit, though, if you're honest. No prize for you. You said there wasn't a prize. I changed my mind. There's a really good prize, something Terry stole. Although the vast majority of gypsies are not thieves. Mm -mm 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 you might just get a surprise this evening, Keisha. Wicked. I hope it's money. It might be a bad surprise. No, I bet it's money. No, it will be a bad surprise. You never know. Wait and see. No, I've got change for ten. No, <laughs> Mr. Beep, too good. Ladies and gentlemen, Iqbal is proud to present the main event of the evening. Brought to you by Kisha and Natrina to teach us about intolerance. I don't really see how. Introducing in the blue corner from Kilburn, England, King of the Gypsies, Owen McGee. And in the red corner, hailing from that caravan site over there, another King of the Gypsies, Terry Murphy. I'd like to see his haymaker. Yeah, I'd like to see his look. Jams, right. <laughs> oh, what's another word for cock? The fight will consist of one really, really long round until one of them smashes the other one's head in. Ladies and gentlemen, it's fight time! Seconds out, fight is begin! Well, everything. Still, at least I've got Nutella surprise to look forward to. Excuse me for.
for dropping in. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Keisha's supposed to be teaching you about tolerance. But look around you. This is like a scene from the Middle Ages. Except for my sophisticated skydiving equipment. Your fight is demeaning the proud gypsy nation. Most of whom don't fight. What? Are you asking for a fight? You know, maybe the crazy small Asian child's got a point. What are you saying? I mean, I know everyone is saying that our assembly was terrible, but perhaps we do stereotype ourselves. I mean, is it possible that people think gypsies fight each other all the time? Because some of us actually do fight each other all the time. Kill him! And if we don't want people saying all gypsies are thieves, perhaps I shouldn't go around necking stuff. <laughs> and you know, if we don't want a reputation as amphetamine dealers, maybe me and Owen should stop selling amphetamines. But that would only leave us with Lucky Heather. We have asked for your tolerance, but we have not shown it ourselves. Until now. We will leave your school playground immediately. <laughs> And no refunds. Hey! Nutella, mm. you have taught us a valuable mm. lesson. So perhaps I should win the prize? It's my fight. I should win the prize. <laughs> there is only one student who truly deserves this prize. Me, I think. I'm pretty sure. No way, Keisha. <laughs> the prize goes to Kylie. Huh? For facing daily adversity from all angles for reminding us that it's easy to be tolerant towards those we like. The true tolerance means accepting stinking ginger freaks. Kylie, come and get your prize. I hope we've all learned a valuable lesson. Now, if you'll excuse me, I intend to make love to a series of muscled gypsy men. Not that all gypsy men are muscled love gods. That's a cliche. Well, I've certainly learned something today. Me too. Gypsy swear words don't count. Well, then I learned nothing. I've learned that it's nice to be kind. I've learned that too. You both learned something and I didn't learn nothing. That's why they call it learning difficulties. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>